Yo, 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 what's up, YouTube? This is your boy, Jay, for keeping it real. Your arbiter of gaming news and commentary and telling you what it is and what it ain't. Pick you up with that real deal gaming news. So what's going on, everybody? I would appreciate it if you would like, share, subscribe. You can dig my content. So, yeah, what's going on? I just want to, first of all, thank everybody for checking out my video today. Now, this one's going to be a different one, man. We're going to go ahead and do this one on our good old friend, Bill Spencer, head at Xbox. And, um... Go ahead and dig right into who is this man and what is he about. Now, of course, you you guys may have been checking him out with some of his new in interviews that he's been doing recently. You know, when all, with all the Sony shenanigans and uh, you know the goings ons of the E3s and whatnot. But man, I'm gonna go a little further back, man, and dig right into this guy about his psyche, how he thinks of things, his mentality, and what is his vision for Xbox, man? Because that's what it comes all down to. This guy being the head of Xbox, man, what is he doing to change the image and the brand? And, um, you know, uh, what's going on with him, man? How does he think? So I'm going to go ahead and start back from the beginning, man, because if you if you remember, going back to the S, if you really think about the X, man, this, this guy understood how to improve upon the s in every single uh or, or i'm sorry improve upon the original og um xbox in every single way um you think about the x man it was an improvement every single way it was improvement with size it was improvement with the the power brick being inside the console it was now can be stood up vertically it uh you know it, it was 40 percent smaller it, it, it could it had a 4K Blu-ray player in it, man. And if you think about it, man, that was looking towards the future. Because I believe that Bill knew that he would have to have the S make sure that it was going to be a console that, you know, if you could not afford the X, you could go ahead and pick it up and you would be just fine. Because you had a console that could have up res the 4K. It had a 4K Blu-ray player in it. And it also had all those all the services man it had all the functionality of game pass and mixer and all that good stuff man he wanted to make sure that it can contend with the pro um and if you really think about it man i know that's kind of crazy to say but really the s is i believe what bill sensor said that it's more a competitor with the s the pro is more competitor with the s um not really in competition with the x man the x is way beyond what the pros capabilities can do and it's more of a it's more of a competitor with the S. And I truly believe that if you stack it up to what it is, because let's just keep it real, man. The Pro only upscales. Um, it only has upscale check it and it can only run native 4K on small indie type games or possibly a sport game. So let's just keep it real. It's not a 4K console. It upscales just like the S. So if you think about it, man, that that they they had to have uh, Bill had to have some serious ingenuity. To un and also farsight into the future to understand that they needed to have a base console that could contend with the pro and then provide you know a powerhouse like the x to perform for the future so i mean if you really think about it man this guy is quite the visionary man and what i like about him and if you really pay attention to him man he's not bending to the corporate and the gaming industry corporation um you know uh you know uh corruption and what i what i mean by that is right now you have you know companies like sony man that's saying that we're not going to do backwards compatibility you know man because it doesn't make us any money i mean that's basically what it comes down to and it could be so easy for phil to say man well if they're doing that i might as well do the same thing man we need to make money um just like them or we need to do that to this to, to compete with them as well but they're not doing that uh Bill's not doing that. He said, man, we're going to stick to our principles. We're going to stick to what our vision is. And that is to make sure that all of our gamers can take their games with them and don't have to repay for the same games over and over again. We're just not going to do that. Um, and that takes, uh, you know, a lot of courage. It takes a lot of, you know, vision and respect and moral value for yourself and say, you know what? I don't care what the industry is doing. Um, that's fine, man. But we're just not going to do things that way. Um, you can look at a lot of the marketing, man. You can see they're not out grabbing every marketing deal they possibly could. They could, man. They got more money than, than Sony 10 times, 20 times over. They could easily go out and buy every single marketing deal they possibly get their hands on just like Sony. But you don't see them doing that. You don't see them just being reactionary and then reacting to whatever Sony does to, to match them. They're not doing that. 
um, they're sticking to their morals and values and saying, hey, man, that's not what we're about. We're just not trying to go and do all that. We're ready to put that into development of games. We're ready to put that into services for our, for our gamers and our consumers. And that's the great thing I love about Bill, man. If you really pay attention to the guy, the guy is not about trying to just do whatever Sony's doing or or being reactionary to what they're doing or letting themselves just go with the flow of what corporations are now doing. Man, he's doing things for us as gamers. And that's what this is one of the biggest reasons why I am pro Xbox, because it is it it has a company that is for gamers in general um, and does what we ask for. Um, and that is one of the things that I pride uh, Phil Spencer on and the things that he's doing. And I think it's great. And it's kind of sad that Phil doesn't get enough credit for the things that he does. And, um, you know, but I think for the future, I think it's going to be really start to be noticeable that Phil is the one that is for the gamers and that he is the one that is pushing the gaming industry forward. Um, if you think about things like you know even just the 4k um and being committed to true native 4k 60 frames per second and beyond um with you know pc assets with adding you know having a console that is going to be up to nine gigabytes of ram space man all these innovations pushing the, the the console um gaming industry forward is all innovative the, the the console gaming industry man and this is what i'm talking about when it comes to it. it this is what type of guy phil is and what i like about him is he's not willing to compromise his morals and his values you know in the means of doing it he's willing to even if it he takes a loss at the first at the, at the first of it man he's willing to say okay that's fine man but i'm gonna stick to my values and i'm not gonna change i'm not gonna do what sony's doing just because it's um you know, it, it gives us a better advantage. I'm going to stick to what the gamers want and what the consumers are best for them. And no matter what, because that is the value. So if you think about it, man, if, if you stick to your values, no matter what, man, you're going to come out on top because if your if your values are to the right and they're to the, the, the good of people, even if it doesn't shine through at first, eventually people will wake up and see that you're for them and the other guys are not um it's just going to take it's just a matter of time you can fool people some of the times so and you can't fool people all the time um so i i see that phil's willing to stick it in there and um because the most important thing is it being for all games and and i'm happy with bill about that so man you i want you guys to hit me up tell me what you guys think that's my little video on field man you guys tell me what you think hit me in the all right man until next time this is jay i'm always keeping it real man i'm gone